So if you guys are running this in a sim simulation account, you're going to get different fills. Welcome to Holy Grail Algo, simplified trading. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Holy Grail Algo is not liable for any loss or damages which may result directly or indirectly from such content. All right, guys, so I want to show you here just real fast. This is our demo machine. We were at the cash account today. It was at 450, so the Fed was getting ready to start talking here, so I decided to move over. Um, but I did leave one of my Apex accounts um, running. And so I just want to show you uh, the difference in our fills here. So if you guys are running this in a sim simulation account, you're going to get different fills. So this is the simulation account here. As you can see, it's just a sim, sim 101. We did get profit here, right? But this got in at 56. This is where it says that it, that it filled here at 56. Now I'm going to move over here to a SIM account, or excuse me, to an Apex account, so I can show you here the difference. As I said, the first one was a SIM account, and it filled at 56, and I want you to see where this one filled. So this is actually running in an Apex account, uh, running Rhythmic, and it filled at 55.50. So we had several last week had this question. Well, I'm running this in the SIM account, and I don't get the, the same results that you get on uh, your uh, machine. Or I do back testing, I do market replay, or I do whatever, and you were sending in these results. Well, the only way to really test this is in is forward in the market, because these are market orders, and they're going to fill really good most of the time if you're on a BPS. Um, and you have a fast, um, you know, connection there, fast BPS getting in. So this is, both of these are on a BPS, but the simulation account is still not going to give you the better, you know, it's just not going to give you as much on the, um, the fill there. So this is something that's a, you know, it's a half a point. And sometimes these trades, we've got them tight um, with this, the, you know, the quantitative approach we use. They pretty much hit their targets, but, you know, half a point here and there can knock you off of those results. So. Here we've got another example here, and this this is our trigger candle right here, and you can see that this candle closed at 726.5, but it entered at 727.5. Look what happened. We have a 15-point stop. It comes down here, 14 points below this one at 712.50 and takes us out. Had we have gotten in at the right spot, um, we would not have hit our stop. This would have been another winning trade versus a losing trade. And I know, you know, it, it's not hard to find these. It's trade after trade. They're all off a little bit. Here's one that's off quite a bit here too, even though it went our way, 733.50, but it was really 733. This one was off two ticks. Now, the thing is, when, when we're doing these back tests over a course of a year, and we're talking about 1,500 of these trades, and you're off by an average of three ticks or, or even two ticks per trade, that's, that makes a huge difference in the results of the, uh, of the back testing. So um, I just want to bring this to light, why you know, we get questions asked, why, why doesn't the market replay uh, perform very well. Well, with limit orders, it will. Uh, with limit orders, it's pretty darn close. But with market orders, it's not going to be, and this is the reason why. Here's another example here, uh, real quick. Here we've got a candle that had closed out at, uh, let me get it on there, at 27 even. But when you see the trade entered the, uh, the the trade entered at 27.75. So this is three ticks off. Now, luckily this trade actually went our way. We got take profit on this, uh, on this particular trade, but that's not always the case. In fact, it's countless numbers of trades that we can scroll through and see where many of them did not get entered into the right spot. And they were so far off that that really would not have happened in the live market. And we don't get good results with it. Okay, everyone, I hope Maybe this might answer some questions why market orders with market replay doesn't really test very well compared to strategy analyzer and what it does. You're going to see some major differences between the two. And we wanted to bring to light, you know, some of the things that we deal with and some of the 
people that have asked us, you know, why they're not getting results. And it's a little hard to understand until you kind of see this in, in action. So I want to thank everybody for watching and we'll hope to catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching Holy Grail Algo. Make sure to like, subscribe, and drop us some comments.